and welcome to today's edition of the news in brief brought to you by graphic communication is giving you the opportunity to have news not only in hard copy but also in a digital form download your graphic news plus now and choose your preferred package daily weekly monthly and annually and access free news on various interest areas as well visit us on graphic.com.gh for further information graphic news plus connecting people through news in the headlines Finance Minister Ken Oforiata will on October 28 present to Parliament the first quarter budget for 2021. The Ghana Police Service releases full list of hotspots ahead of Ghana's 2020 elections and the fridge mechanic is jailed five years for blackmailing a teacher with her nude pictures. Now the news in brief. The Minister of Finance, Ken Oforiata, will on Wednesday, October 28, present to Parliament an advanced budget covering government spending for the first quarter of 2021. The Minister of Parliamentary Affairs, Mr. Ose Che Mensabunsu, disclosed this when he presented an explanatory memorandum on Parliament's business statement on Friday, October 23. Mr. Che Mensabunsu said that the budget estimate is built to cover government expenditures for January to March 2021 due to the fact that there will be a transition period triggered by the upcoming December polls. The Ghana Police Service has identified a number of areas it considers hotspots in the December 7 elections. The vicinities are categorized into key flashpoints, with the Ashanti region topping with the most district prone to violence. The Ghana Police Service presented to the National Election Security Task Force 4,098 flashpoints to guide its tactical arrangements and deployment across the 16 regions. This is to allow the flashpoints to be adequately monitored as various political parties will be undertaking their campaigns towards the 2020 presidential and parliamentary elections. And in our last story, a 27-year-old refrigerator mechanic apprentice has backed five years in jail for threatening to post the nude pictures and videos of a teacher on social media. The whole high court presided over by Justice Eric Barr filed Sifas and Annie guilty of three counts of defrauding by false pretense, extortion and publication of obscene material. Delivering his judgment on Friday, October 23, after a year-long trial, the presiding judge, Justice Barr, indicated that the convict deserved 25 years in jail, but dealt leniently with him because he was a first-time offender. He said that the convict's sentence was to serve as a deterrent to others. Anani was reported to have had online conversations with a victim with a fake account and used a photograph of Prince William of the United Kingdom to convince the victim to send her nude pictures and videos to his fake account via Messenger. The judge concluded that the threat of publication was to blackmail the teacher for money. Thank you for watching. That's all we have for For more news, visit graphic.com.gh or log on to Facebook at Daily Graphic and on YouTube at Graphic GH. I am Juliet Echansafo.